Hi, my name is Purnima Sinha. I live in Northern Virginia, Manassas, and I want to thank you to each and every one of you for giving me opportunity to talk about self-love and empowerment. So what is self-love? Some people get confused self-love with selfishness because they think uh, taking care of yourself is selfish, but it is not. Self-love is actually taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. Because what I don't have for me, I cannot give it to others. So that is the uh, one point I will talk about self-love. Other thing um, is on about the self-love is meditation helps great deal to learn self-love. Because le learning self-love is very hard because I am the in the thought process uh, criticizing myself all the time, judging myself all the time and expect others to love me which does not make sense. So when we practice meditation and a stillness exercise, it gives us a different perspective to see how our mind is working. Because if I cannot acknowledge that my thought is making me sick, not anybody is making me sick. Because situation will be always situation. It will be the same fact, but how we see it it makes a difference so meditation um, is very close to my heart because uh, I'm from India and my parents like two or three generations they were meditators so I grew up in that environment knowing about meditation helps so much has more benefit uh, so now in this country for a lo lot of you know medical doctors are prescribing uh, practicing meditation so meditation is uh, kind of listening to your own thought and see where I am contributing also a spiritual path is a path of truth because speaking our own truth makes us empower if I am the body is really smart so if I'm not speaking the truth if I'm just doing a, a facade from outside uh, that I'm fine but inside I am not fine our body is very intelligent the body knows when I'm lying because from the outside you can say I'm fine but your heart knows so when these heart and mind is not aligned with each other, we are going to suffer. And that's why the suffering is the greatest teacher in awareness. It plays a huge role because the more we suffer, the more we think we need to live our life to the best. And blaming others does not solve any issue. So other thing I'd like to talk about about self-love is how to take your own power so authentic power what is authentic power authentic power is when the personality is aligned to serve the soul then we are on the right path then nobody can take away from me which is an inner guidance inner power which is authentic power because when you do meditation, you're sitting in this stillness, you're doing the exercise, you're choosing your thought and see where this thought is taking me. Because we have done mistake many times. And when we don't learn from it, universe gives us uh, different people, a uh, different story and present in front of us to see as another opportunity because every challenge is an opportunity to see what is going on with my body and mind. How do I align my mind and body? So when we do the meditation, we are sitting in a stillness, watching our breath and see where I am coming from. Where is this hurting? 
why it is hurting so kind of like investigating your own body scanning your own body so when something goes wrong instead of uh, judging or something when you're doing the exercise feel your emotion on purpose just think about some experience which is bit, which was very uncomfortable for you and bring that experience in your mind and experience how your body is feeling in that ex- when that happened and literally sit on it with your breath you will see how powerful the breath is how powerful is the power of now which is a moment only we have all the time but mind creates you know past and future so is watching your breath so you can put your hand on your chest you close your eyes and literally pay attention to your breath your inhale and exhale and watch your hand how it is moving with your inhale and exhale also notice the gap between each inhale that is stillness that that awareness is much much vast than this physical body so doing practice with meditation and gratitude and prayer is very empowering to improve our health so meditation is when we are listening to divine and what prayer is when i am talking to divine so in the morning is the best time to do meditation because your uh, day has not started yet so just take a moment maybe 2 or 3 minutes to be aware of your breath and have gratitude for your life for gratitude for your breath because as long as i am breathing i have no problem because just holding your breath for 5 second and see how it feels it does not feel good other um two uh, thing i want to talk about this book by eckhart tolle a new earth is a great book about self empowerment and self love very easy to understand and it it just it literally feels like they he is speaking to you one to one other book i want to emphasize great book seat of the soul by gary zuka he talks about authentic power and intention how each one of us has the power to live our authentic self and when we are on the authentic self path path of truth there is nobody can do anything to break our spirit because we as a human being as a spirit is much bigger than this body and mind so human is a form being is formless so human being means you are connected to the divine with your mind and body to live your life with the purpose we are here on this mother earth so i thank you so much for your time listening to me and i appreciate that thank you thank you